Moving on, Skiffle is the latest album from Van Morrison. It's a two CD, four LP uh, set with 23 tracks. Um, these are all covers um, of songs going back, dating back to the 50s and 60s, and some of them before, uh, going back even further. Um, this uh, is the Red Vinyl 4 LP. It was part of a bundle that was offered at Van's website. So you got the 4 LP red vinyl, you got the CD, you got the shirt, and you got a print signed by Van. And uh, that was available on his website. It's all been sold out for a while. But um, this is just a great, great collection of songs. Um, uh, a lot of these songs I recognize. Um, you know, Hank Snow and uh, um, Hank Williams. Um, and then there's some old, uh, some, like This Love and Light of Mine, which is a it's, it's borderline gospel song. But um, this album, there's a couple things that stand out about this uh, collection of songs. It's much like Pay the Devil, Van's vocals. These are, these contain some of Van's best vocals in the past 30 years. I mean, he just, he's just, uh, leaning back and wailing and I always say when he does country music his inner George Jones comes out when he sings and he just uh, you know there's a song here a streamlined cannonball just some great singing by Van on there um, another thing stands out some great harmonic playing by Van on some of these tracks um, which I just love you know the you know anytime Van's playing harmonica it's uh it's always great to hear and the um the band uh who plays on this album is great um it's just some great uh, fiddle playing i forgot the fiddle player's name but just great uh if you listen to green rocky road at the end you can hear what i'm talking about it's just uh, just incredible fiddle play and it really complements band's voice well and the other thing that um, stands out to me is the use of backing vocals. Uh, it reminds me a lot of when Ray Charles did his two uh, country albums in the early 60s. I think he did two country albums. And it was heavy with the backing vocals. And I, I got to think that that slightly influenced Van's sound on here. Uh, Van was a great fan of uh, Ray Charles and uh, he actually... Uh, Worked with him a couple times, and uh, of course he uh, recorded "Crazy Love" for Ray's last album, uh, "Genius Loves Company," there about 20 years ago. Um, but I just really been playing this album a lot since I got it, and uh, um, I "Streamline Cannonball," as I mentioned before, is a great track, and uh, "Freight Train." That's uh, I think it's. Uh, it's an old folk song, uh, Streamline Train. Uh, if you like songs about trains and railroad tracks, this is your album. Um, no Other Baby, That's I think that was an Everly Brothers uh, song uh, years ago. And I know Paul McCartney did a re uh, recording of it uh, for his uh, rock and roll album there about 24 years ago. Um, uh, Come On In, that's another great track. Uh, he does a great version of I'm Moving On, the old Hank Snow song. Uh, again, heavy with the backing vocals. Um, Worried Man Blues, another great, great track. Uh, I think he's been closing some of his recent gigs out with the Worried Man Blues. Uh, Green Rocky Road, it seems to be the big fan favorite uh, on this album and the... Um, and it's a highlight in his gigs recently, uh, which I think he, he it's one of the second last songs he plays in the uh, concert. It's about nine minutes long on here. And like I said before, the fiddle playing on it complements band, band's voice uh, very well. Um, this Love and Light of Mine, it's another standout track. Uh, uh, it's a take on This Little Light of Mine. And um, Van's really letting uh, loose on that one. 
Sail Away Ladies, another another track that's really standing out. Um, um, I'm just telling you some of the songs that just stand out in my head after listening to this a few times. Um, like I said, there's 23 tracks and um, there's so much, uh, you know, Van's just, he really is able to knock these, uh, these songs out with such, uh, um, such a rapid pace and they're all done well. Um, oh, Lonesome Me, that's another nice song. Uh, I think that was, uh, not sure that was, uh, I forget who did that. Um, but it's another great track. Um, but, uh, like I said, Van and the band really, really playing well on this. It's a great collection of songs. Um, don't let the, uh, you know, people are worried, uh, you know, sometimes when they hear country music, it's, you know, they got some aversion to country music. I say just put that aside and just listen and uh, just hear some great singing, great playing, uh, some great music, done well, sang well, and uh, it's really, really enjoyable. And I think this could be the, one of my favorite recordings of any artist in 2023. And Van seems to be really enjoying himself uh, doing the gigs in uh, Ireland and uh, England the past couple of months and he's taken out to Europe now this spring and uh, probably this summer he'll take it out to the festivals in the summer and uh, he's coming to the states in the autumn so who knows if he's still going to be bringing uh, doing skiffle songs uh, some of these songs by then but uh, I got a feeling he will because uh, it's just been a pretty uh, uh, positive uh, reception to this album so Moving on, Skipful. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.